Hi everyone. Uh, just going to be answering one or two questions, uh, especially well, a couple on hooks. Uh, barbless hooks was one. Uh, what would be the on a, a size fourteen, but a good strong hook? Uh, like obviously this one in the in the vice. Uh, the one in the vice is this here. This is a competition heavyweight size fourteen black nickel. As you can see it's a, this is a barbless. It's about a barbless hook, obviously. Now, there's a couple you could choose from uh, that Full and Will do, especially this is the other one here, it's the Competition Champ. They're basically much the same, exactly the same length. Uh, the difference is the, the point. This is a straight point and this is a curved point. I should, I should actually have one out here uh, just to show you. Now, times I find, I mean, I, I've caught in both. The rainbows especially, what they do is they, they hang on a bit more. Uh, if you're fishing for wild brown trout, I prefer the one with the curved point, this one. So either are very good. So you can, that's your choice when it comes to about this size, would be uh, this heavyweight champ, which they call, size 14, or uh, the one I'm going to be using in the video, competition heavyweight black nickel, size 14. Good, good wee uh, hook, both are good. Thread I'm going to be using, uh, just going to tie a quick quilled buzzer just to show what it looks like. A uh, good pattern at this time of the year when the flies are starting to get a wee bit smaller. Uh, tie in different colours. Uh, but the quilled buzzer, this is the black. Uh, I'm using the UTC thread. It's a flat thread. It's ideal to get a nice smooth body. Uh, we start at the eye. Now the other question I got asked was uh, what's the best way to put breathers on? There's, again, there's two or three ways you can do it. I'm going to use the multi yarn, uh, this one here. I'm going to tie it in at this moment, at this point. You could tie it in after, it's up to yourself. I'm taking the length out. This is just like a white antron. Now I've got a head length down, and then I'm going to tie a length of the multi yarn over the eye. And then when you start to work down three or four turns, we're going to cut it at an angle. So you come in with your scissors at kind of a long angle, trim towards the back of the hook. And then we're going to wind down. Now, I use the tip of my finger here to stop the cut ends rolling round with the thread. And then slide my fingers towards the back as I get close to the ends. Got the point there. Actually, got the point of the hook. You can see a wee fine fibre there. We can trim that out. Got to trim it out because if you go to varnish it, it's going to get in the way, and uh, and then as we say, we work towards the back of the hook. I'm using a basically strip peacock quill, which I've used. I've used bleach to strip it away, but I've taken it out quite early. There's still a bit of fibre on it, so what I've got to do is remove that with my nail. It's quite simple. Just run your run against the fibre two or three times, both sides. And that should clear it. Don't be too rough on it. Tie this in close to the, the tapered end rather than the thick end. When I'm tying a size 10, I prefer to use this part. Uh, but when I'm small, uh, I want to taper anyway. I'll trim it down here and catch it in there so it starts to taper up. It allows you to get more turns than the smaller fly because it's finer. So as you work your way up, You're looking two, at least two thirds of the way to three quarters of the way, which depends on what type of the short thorax. Now, you remember you're going to rib this not to protect it, to form a rib and a colour. So, basically, you want to wind up. You've got a good five turns there. Catch it in, just wind up towards the, the multi yarn. Take off, or just break it. Over tear off, it's not a strong fibre. And then it's just wing buds, could be anything, it could be goose bites, it could be, in this case I'm going to be using this here, this is a peacock orange number 16, which is basically fine. I'm going to be using the orange side, so I'm going to catch it on the side with the, the peacock side, the green side facing myself. I just wind down, keep it on the side. And then I catch it on the other side, just fold it round. A couple of turns just to 
basically it's position the flash, it's fine. And then you want to build it up a wee bit, just to give impression of the thorax. It can be as thin or as thick as you feel. Uh, there's always a style that suits some people, but that's fine. Take it forward, lift your wing, oh sorry, your multi yarn, catch it. There's that space you left at the front, you want to catch the flash in front. Just tighten it up, pull it towards the eye. Now I'm just going to check, keeping that thread done. If I want it, that, that's fine. Now, all you do is just lift it up, three or four more turns, it tucks it back slightly. It's straight in the wet finish. Use my fine scissors here. These are just wee fine scissors I've got. Come in, just catch the very edge of the flash, trim away. There we go. And then you just have a whatever you have that you like. You can super glue, which the old way of doing it was to light super glue and varnish a couple of times and you get a nice, nice strong body. Or you can use your resin, uh, whatever resin you like. Normally I like to put a light coat of varnish and then resin. Uh, I'm not a, I still like to varnish the fly more than anything. So what I'm going to do here is just use a, this is Venyard Clear Varnish. Just going to lightly apply it. I'll put three coats of varnish on it. So I will. And uh, you'll never have any issues with it. It's like. That dries quite really quick. And then once it's, it's had its three coats, then you can trim the very end uh, of the buzz that are kind of breathers. So you just trim it off the front. Now we'll give that a second, because that, that dries really quick, so I've thinned the varnish right down. Uh, I'll add another coat of varnish, then they'll trim it. Okay, the varnish is dry in the first coat. So what I'm going to do is apply another one. All the way in. Take your vice if you can. Just take some into the eye there. Or into the head, sorry. Some fine hair there. And basically that's it. That's the buzzer. Uh, then what you want to do is trim. I usually just tap it with my finger, but once you start to fish it. And there we go, that's the wee quilled buzzer. Uh, on one of the barbless hooks in the 14. Strong hook, good for the rainbows. Uh, as I say, that's a, this is a competition heavyweight. If you want to try the, you know, you'll tell you it's a good hook, is the competition, this or the heavyweight champ. It's got the curl point. It's worth having either. If you've got jumpy trout, I mean trout like rainbows, I know rainbows, uh, wild brownies, I like the wee curved hook better, so anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and again, thanks for watching.